Hey, welcome to another exciting episode of San Kofa Inner City Cultural League online section. I am Mr. Williams, and I thank you for joining me today. Today we got some really great stuff going on. We're going to hear from Miss Natisha, and we're going to hear from Miss Brown. Don't go away. But before we go on to the next thing, in one of my previous videos, I told you to hug somebody. I need to clarify that so there's, there's no misunderstanding. Please, please, please do not hug people you see in the street. If they're not of your household, please do not hug them. But the people in your household, they need to know that we love them. So please, um, from us to you all, please give them a hug and only them. We love you. See you soon. Hi everyone, Miss Tisha here, wishing you in a happy abbreviated spring break. We're trying to keep our lessons on the lighter side this week since it would have been spring break. So today I'm gonna do a noise scavenger hunt. Since it is music month, we wanna keep it on the music and artsy side. So I hope you guys get to go outside. I'm here by the Sankofa Culture Arts Center where we do our thing. So since most of you guys live around this area, I thought it'd be a good idea to come do the video out here so you guys can kind of get a feel for what kind of noises you might be hearing. So I have a list here of noises. So grab a pen and a paper, notepad, pencil, whatever you want to use to write down these different noise sounds that you would hear outside. One is wind. It's pretty windy today. So hopefully it's not as windy when you do get to go outside and play, but wind is one of the noises that you're going to hear. I have bees buzzing or wasps. Not a huge fan of them, so I'm actually glad I don't see them out here today. Cars driving by, like you just heard. Motorcycles. On the warmer days, you're going to hear a lot of motorcycles outside. A fire station or a fire truck that might be driving by. Ambulance. Music from a vehicle, which is something popular here, especially if you're downtown. Goose or geese if you live near a pond or if they're just flying overhead trying to get to a pond. Airplanes or helicopters that might be flying ahead. Dogs or cats. Birds. A tractor trailer, which is one of those bigger trucks that you might hear driving by. Rain. People talking outside. Kids laughing or playing. Someone with their phone ringing. A train, which normally happens around this area here. No train today yet. Maybe they're off. Frogs or crickets, especially near the nighttime. A person running or walking, depending on what type of shoes they're wearing or how fast they're moving. And just any type of flags that might be blown with the wind. And we're going to do a little walk downtown and we'll see what noises, what other noises we hear. Definitely hear cars. Birds. I'm starting to hear some crickets back here. Hey, bird. So we have birds chirping and of course birds flapping their wings as well. Starting to hear some crickets over here. Quiet now. Make sure you're checking off when you hear different noises. Okay, that might have been a police car or ambulance. That's a noise I could check off. Sounds like someone's bouncing a basketball, so that goes under kids playing. Oh, there's a bee over there. It's too far away so I can't hear it buzzing. Alright, so so far I've heard a motorcycle, cars driving by, 
birds, crickets. That's four. Wind, of course, five. Also, if you hear any like flies or any other bugs buzzing around, that counts as a sound. Air conditioner units, like this one here. Six. Someone playing music in their car, got seven. So just cross them off as you go. And if you would like, you can send those to our email. And we'd love to include that you participated in this cool lesson here. Just gonna swing back around. People talking. They're pretty far away though, so they can't can't really hear them. But if you guys step outside, you hear your neighbors talking, that counts as a noise. Feel free to jot that down. Anybody riding their bike? You can even tally how many times you hear a certain noise. Like if you hear birds chirping the whole time, hey, that's several tallies you can write down for that. Or if it's nonstop wind, or if people are just talking, or cars are keep driving by. How many crickets you might hear, frogs, bugs. People yelling because they're maintaining their social distancing, so they want to be able to hear each other. Doors opening and closing. And maybe even different types of bird sounds. There's so many different types of bird species around here. All right, so I did a little loop around the building. They didn't go too far downtown, but if you are with an adult or if you're old enough, feel free to get out and do the musical scavenger hunt for yourself or the noise scavenger hunt, whichever you like to call it. I'm also going to leave a list of the different noises that you can hear outside around this area, maybe other areas in the description section. So check it out. Make sure you get outside, get some fresh air. Get some sun, vitamin D, and again, stay safe, stay well, stay healthy. See ya. Hi guys, this is Miss Brown. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome back to National Poetry Month. The piece that I chose today is called Goals and it's coming out of this book called Our Work, Our Words. It is by the Swim Poets out of Wilmington, Delaware. So I hope you guys enjoy and share with your friends and family. It's a very encouraging and uplifting piece. So here we go. Getting organized always leads to success, helping the children to be their very best. For the children of the future, as we all know, and if you never give up on your dreams, you'll continue to grow because getting organized always leads success. I encourage you to read and write stories and poetry to imagine and use your mind instead of just playing playstations and watching videos all the time. Read more than your school books and magazines. Go to the library and check out books that are of interest to you. Then read and smile as you learn something new. Your goals become plans, a way to make you dream come true. The world will tempt you and say, just be mediocre, try to get over it. Settle with making those C's and D's that you can get with ease. But I challenge you to study and receive those A's and B's. And when you're on the computer, I want you to do more than go to MySpace or YouTube websites. I want you to learn how the software works and practice how to type. Take no shortcuts. Take your time and prepare for the test. Because getting organized always leads success. And the day will come when someone will try to get you to drink or use drugs. But I want you to think of your mother's love. Just say no and walk away. For that person is not your friend but someone trying to steal your dreams away. And I know peer pressure to be cool in school is great, but your education is most important. So your little boyfriends and girlfriends can wait, pay attention in class and stay focused and give your best because getting organized always leads success. And in you, your goals grow like a rose. So I suppose you should grab hold and take a flight. And when problems arise, talk things out for there is no reason to fight. 
And remember your dreams are only a day away. How many times must the twin poet say that no matter how dark it is or it may seem today, keep the faith and your goals will make a way. So believe in yourself and make your dreams come true. The next millionaire, doctor, preacher, or teacher could indeed be you. Because getting organized always leads success, so I challenge you to always give your best. Goals, a poem by the twin poets for the wonderful children to say that hard work truly makes dreams come true. So if you guys are interested in this poem, here is the book. We will post the link in the video or in the description box so that you guys can get familiar with who the twin poets is especially if you are a resident of delaware they are great they do great community work they do great workshops and everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this poem as much as i did i love the book i read it it's great i hope you guys can eventually get this book and read it as well and enjoy it with your friends and family Thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. I hope to see you guys again soon. Until next time. Those are some pretty cool lessons. Thanks for watching the videos with me. We have more fun, exciting stuff coming up for you soon. Bye.